Hey guys, it's Trevor again. So recently, my friend Satya asked me to do a conversion for him for a thousand suns sorcerer lord in Terminator armor using this kit. A Horus Heresy Thousand Sons Legion Praetor. Please take note that this kit is rated for ages 15 and above. So if you're age 14 and below, turn off the video, it's not safe. Now, I would say he already looks pretty close to what I would expect a sorcerer to look like, but we can add a few details here and there to really sell the look. So the first thing we're going to add is this extra sorcerer's staff head from the Scarab Occult Terminator set. So I'm going to cut off this dangly bit and clean up the cut part using a penknife. Then, I'm going to drill a hole between the model's shoulder blades so that I can stick this part behind his head to give him more of a mystical vibe. Next up, Satya and I both agree that this bolter is a little too plain and generic, so we're going to replace it with one of the extra ones from the Scarab Occult Terminator set, which has all these fancy runes and zinchi imagery. So I chopped off the old bolter, sanded down his wrist, and then attached the new bolter with super glue. Oh, and I remembered to drill the gun barrels using a pin. And lastly, while I think his current staff looks cool, it could use a little more decoration to really make it look like a magical sorcerer's staff. To do this, I'm going to add on this extra sorcerer's staff head from the Rubric Marine set. Now, it is a little big, so I'm going to chop off all the spikes on the left-hand side and clean it up with a penknife. Then, I'm going to chop off this spike on his current staff and sand it down very inefficiently so that it's nice and flat. After that, I just need to glue on the new staff head using super glue and voila! I'd say that looks like a sorcerer's staff now. Alright, so before we paint this guy, I want to get started on a cool base for him to stand on. So I grabbed some air dry clay and roughly shaped it into jagged rocks. After that, I grabbed a clay shaping tool and basically poked and prodded it all over to create a more uneven texture. Once I was satisfied with the base, I grabbed the sorcerer and pushed him into the clay to create two impressions for his feet. This is going to make it easier for me to glue him into the base once everything is painted. Alright, so let's leave this to dry and get started painting this guy. So I primed everything grey, then I grabbed a dark blue and base coated all the armor panels of the model. Now this is a darker blue than I would typically use on Thousand Suns models, but my friend Satya requested for this guy to be slightly darker than the rest of his army. I just hope I haven't made him too dark. After that, I grabbed this black paint whose name I'm very worried to say and painted his bolter and his staff black. Then I grabbed the only yellow paint I own and painted the stripes in his headdress. I noticed that he also had some stripes on his thighs, so I went ahead and painted these yellow as well, because I do love me some stripy thighs. I grabbed a dark red and used it to paint his sexy chaos bathrobe. I used a dark brown to paint his blinged out leather straps. Then I used a bright green to pick out some of the details on this model, like the eye on his staff and the gems on his armor. I also watered down the screen and painted it in a big blob over all the runes on his gun. Then, using the side of my brush, I carefully brushed on black paint to the highest points of the runes while leaving the deeper parts green. This allows all those beautifully sculpted runes to really pop. I used Citadel Retributor Armor to paint all the gold details on this model, such as the scarab on this bit we added behind his head, all the trim and talismans on his armor, the trim on his gun, and some of the raised details on the staff. I also painted the flame of the scarab bit we added green because I feel like green is a very magical fire colour. I grabbed some silver paint and used it to paint the tubes on his back, the blade of his staff, and the muzzles of his gun. Then I applied a black wash all over the model. Once the wash was dry, I grabbed the yellow paint again and used it to highlight the centre of his stripes. I grabbed a lighter blue colour and painted it on all the raised parts of his armour. Then I watered down the original dark blue with quite a bit of water and painted it over all the highlights so that they blend in nicely with the armour. I then grabbed the bright green colour and dry brushed it all over the flame to bring up the colour a bit. Then I dry brushed on some yellow to highlight it. Finally, I used some Gehenna's... Gehenna's... Gihine's... Gold to highlight the gold parts of the model. I used some orange paint to highlight his sensual chaos bathrobe, painting it on all the raised parts. Then I watered down the original red paint until it was really thin and painted it over all the orange highlights to blend them in. Alright, I think he's looking pretty good, I'm quite happy with how he looks. Alright, so let's take a picture to see what Satya thinks. Okay, so he was pretty pleased with it, but he did point out that he looks a little bit ultramarine-y. And no one wants their stuff to look ultramarine -y. So we're just gonna make him a bit of a lighter blue, and we're gonna change the colour of a few details here and there. 
Oh, and I actually repainted some of the gems on his clothes as eyes, but as you can see, my camera wasn't cooperating, so I'll show you how I do this in another video maybe. Okay, now he's done. So let's finish up that base. So some parts of the clay developed cracks while drying. So I decided to lean into this and break the clay apart into separate pieces at the cracks. Then I glued them back onto the base with a slight gap between the pieces. I sprayed the whole thing grey, applied a black wash, then I grabbed some dark brown and some khaki paint and stippled it lightly over the rock. Then I mixed some white paint and some black paint to form a light grey paint that I dry brushed all over the rock to highlight it. I wanted to make the deep cracks in the rock glow, so I grabbed some green paint and some white paint and mixed them together. I painted this into the deepest parts of the cracks. Then I stippled on some of the original light green around the edges of the cracks. After that, I watered down the light green paint and painted it over all the glowing parts to really get into the crevices. I think that looks pretty glowy. Finally, to really sell the effect, I painted on some of the glow onto the sorcerer's legs and cape. And there you go, 1000 Suns Sorcerer Lord in Terminator Armor. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. Thank you also to my friend Satya for letting me feature this model on my channel. And most of all, thank you for watching. And I'll see you all next time.